Let's go over how we can use Affinity to take a single object and duplicate it around a circle. I'm going to open a new document, and I'm going to choose the vector view, and then I will enable the vector environment. And then I'm going to grab my shapes tool, and for this demonstration, I will be using a heart shape. So with that selected, I'm going to click and drag to draw a heart. And I'll zoom in on this, and I'm going to take this handle right here and bring that up a little bit. And then I'm going to make this black. Now I'm going to grab my selection tool, and with the object selected, come up here to the tool settings menu and click on this gear icon. And then come down here to where it says enable transform origin and enable that setting. This transform origin, let's close out of the menu now, this transform origin represents the axis on which the object rotates. So I'm going to take this and click and drag this down, and I'm going to hold my shift key while doing that to ensure that it locks it onto the vertical axis, meaning it stays centered with the object. I'll bring it down to about here, and then I'll come over here to the layers menu, and I'm going to right click on the object and go to duplicate. Then I'm going to take this rotation handle up top, and I'm going to hold shift and click and drag a couple of steps so that you have an adequate amount of spacing between the two objects. And with the object still selected, before you do anything else, press Command J or Control J if you're using Windows. And what that will do is every time you press Command or Control J, it'll create a new copy of the object. And you can keep pressing it until it finishes up around a circle. If you found this lesson useful, be sure to check out my Affinity Masterclass. It's a collection of over 80 videos where we go over all of the tools and features in the Affinity app, and I explain what they are and demonstrate how they work. Kind of like how I did in this video. We even have a private community where you can ask questions, get help from me anytime you need it, and share your work to get feedback from the community. By the end of this course, you will have everything you need to become a master of the Affinity app. I'll have some information about that down below if you want to check that out. And as always, thanks for watching.